Hey there guys, Jason here with another model build. And this time we're doing uh, one of the Incredit builds, and this is the Star Wars X-Wing. Uh, so last time I did BB-8, and this time I wanted to do something a little bit different. I do have four of these. This is the second of the four that I'm gonna be doing. And this is, of course, an X-Wing book, an easily to assemble laser cut wood piece uh, model with step-by-step -step instructions with coloring and crafting ideas. And I don't know if I said this before, but apparently they have a difficulty difficulty for skill level, and this is a number three. Um, it's just kind of cool. They're neat little models uh, built out of wood, and there's lots of different types of them. So let's crack into this real quick and see what we're working with before I get onto the actual build. I can't seem to open this, and I'm sniffling quite a lot. <laughs> All right, there we go. So here I have my one piece that everything is on. I've got a couple pieces of cardboard. Hooray! I've got my instructions, a little pamphlet, and of course the X-Wing book. And so it says, Inside the Galaxy's Most Versatile Starfighter. Uh-oh, they didn't cut the pages right. That's sad. Star Wars X-Wing. I've actually really liked the X-Wing for a very long time. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm gonna have to like, rip the book open. <laughs> I don't like destroying books. Uh, let's see. Is there anything of importance here? Basically, it's got the... T-65 X-Wing. It's made by Incon Corporation. It's got S-Foils, cargo compartment, uh, K-Pux, MG-7 Proton Torpedo Launcher, two of them. Incom four, uh, L-4 Fuel Seal uh, Thrust Engines. Incom GDK-585 Hyperdrive Motivator, four of them. Chapat Deflector Shield Generator, Power Generator, Sensors, Nose Cone Cockpit, Canopy, Time and back KX9 laser cannon times four astromech socket, and it's <laughs> talking about my my in my T16 back home. That fierce fighter, lock and load. Oh, sadness. Recon rogue. Talking about Poe Dameron and his. Uh, next thing. See, his is an upgraded model. His is a T70. So. It's got quite a few things, probably just a little bit differently. Yeah, it's got like the split retro, split retro thrusters and everything like that. Big shots. I really like that picture. It's kind of cool. Luke Skywalker was super cool. I liked him before he was a Jedi. <laughs> Even the <in>, um... <laughs> X-Wing battles. I don't know, X-Wing is really cool. It's pretty iconic. It, it, X-Wing and the TIE Fighter, I mean, if you don't know what those are, I feel sorry for you. Behind the scenes, dude, like, there you go. <laughs> That's quite a design. I don't know, they're just, they're just so freaking neat. And and I, I feel like they actually could fly, maybe. I tried making one of these in uh, Kerbal Space Flight. Um, it did okay. But yeah, there you go. And there, here's your uh, actual design aspects. So let's just get into the build and see what we're working with.
All right, so I'm back and <laughs> the X-Wing model is complete and I must say this was a lot more fun to build than the BB-8 droid. Um, BB-8 was, you know, interesting because it was a spherical model built out of wood pieces, uh, but this one just, I don't know, like, just like all the lines down underneath here, just the fact that it actually allows it to follow the curves of the actual X-Wing. I mean, you even have, like, R2-D2 in the back, and using the engraving that it did, you even have some of the detail on things like the wing, and uh, the S-foils, or that's what the wings are. And then you have even got detail on the lasers that I can't get to really focus. There you go. That's as, probably as good as I'm going to get it. Um, but yeah, each of the wings has detail on it. It doesn't have any detail on the back of it, sadly. Uh, but I mean, still, this is a really neat model. It doesn't have any like action to it like the uh, BB-8 droid has with the ability to rotate the head, but just look at this thing. It is sleek AF and totally lit fam. <laughs> yeah, all the memes. Uh, but anyway, I mean, the wings, they come off pretty easily, but honestly, that is okay. I mean, look at it. It, it is absolutely wonderful. Like, it, it probably took me like a good half hour to build this, and I was just sort of doing that while I was watching videos uh, of my own, but yeah, like, it's perfect. Like, they actually gave you some extra pieces. Uh, I was confused as to why I had uh, pieces that were the same number, but I didn't realize that it was like an actual like designated area that was extra. And I think it's just because these pieces are easy to lose. I mean, this is like a little piece above the cockpit. This is R2's head. This is a two-piece thing that goes around the actual hyperdrive units. Uh, so I actually took them off of the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, but it, it is actually nice that they gave you extras. Um, I actually did basically, I sort of broke one of these pieces. I sort of snapped it halfway, uh, but thankfully it's a piece that's like located underneath here, so it's being held in place by something else. I don't have to worry about it actually falling apart, and it doesn't actually impact the uh, nature of the structural build quality. Um, also, uh, it's just a lot bigger than BB-8. Um, it didn't hurt my fingers to build this one as much as BB-8 did. I think BB-8 used a lot of tight um, geometry to actually get everything to work together, but I mean, it's still a good model. Either way, uh, I really like this. I'm excited to build the next one, uh, which uh, I haven't figured out which one that's going to be, but it'll come soon. Um, so stay tuned and keep watching. Let me know what you think of this uh, down below. Let me know if you like models like this, if you like sort of this type of build video. Um, I really like doing these things. I like doing them just because it's relaxing. Um, I'm actually curious about whether I should do just like, just full on just puzzle build. Just, just do a puzzle. <laughs> uh, and if you'd like to see that, just let me know. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye for now.